<laughs> okay, so we are recording. Um, and if you have questions during it, feel free to ask because that's why we do the Zoomcast so that um, so that we can share ideas and ask questions. Um, okay, so the reason I wanted to do a training on a party is I think a lot of people aren't doing parties, and I don't. I, Part of me thinks it's because you don't know what you would do when you had a party, <laughs> right? Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna ask all these people to book a party, and then I'm gonna make all these parties book, and then, and then, oh my God, what, now what do I do? Like, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Um, so I think if you just, um, I guess, take that initial leap of faith, get those parties booked, and then once you have your first party, I think what you're gonna find is that it's super fun, and you're gonna wanna do another one, and the more that you do, the easier that it gets, because you just kind of keep you do the same thing or you perfect what you did before that you didn't like or or whatever so I wanted to show you just how easy a party can be and um, that way hopefully you'll, you'll be more um, apt to book one and have one and then from there you book more parties and it kind of starts this big snowball effect which is amazing and fun so okay so hey Nicole so first things first, um, when I book a party, um, I'll set my um, hostess's party up on a Facebook event and give her the party page link. Um, do that for her, but also let her know that that is not the only invitation that she should send out, that it's her job to get people to the party. It'll be your job to sell at the party, but that you really want her to be um, doing postcard invitations and texts and emails and talking to people, not just sending out the Facebook event, because if that's all she does, she's not going to have a good turnout, okay? And I'll give you some other tips on how to get people at a party, too. So um, when I first, I set up the Facebook event, and then I'm going to deliver to them a little party pouch. Um, because I want them to be able to take orders ahead of time or take this to work for people who can't make it to the party. I want them to be able to um, get orders from people who can't come. And I want them to be able to smell and make their own little wish list. So inside here is just the fall winter testers. That's really all they need. You don't have to do the whole 90 cents. Um, and then I have catalogs. I usually put about five in there. Um, I usually put about 10 order forms in there. Um, highlight them so you get all the information you want, especially the email, okay? Um, one thing I do, I didn't do it on here because I just grabbed these really fast, but I'll usually um, cross out shipping and then right below tax, I'll put times 0 .0863 because that's our sales tax, just so they have it right there and they can see it. I'll do it like that on the, like the first three on the top um, and then they'll know um, what to do um, or how to do the tax. And then I put a little envelope in there for the completed order forms, and I'll put this little sticker on in the comments below, too. But if you can kind of just see it, it just says, you know, make the check payable to me if they want to... Um if they want to buy credit cards, fill out the information at the bottom. Three-digit code on the back is for the security code, but four-digit on the front for American Express kind of gives them that information. So they put all of the orders in there. And then I'll print out some invitations for them. You don't want to give them invitations that they need to fill out because that takes a long time. Have you guys ever done that? Like somebody give you 20 invitations you have to fill out for a party? It's not fun. It takes a long time. So I get these um, Avery labels, the 10 to a sheet and I will print them out for them and uh, just give them some postcard invitations, usually give them at least 20, and let them know that it's their job to pass them all out. And then I think the thing that makes my parties most successful, this is like, it's what gets used. This is from my last party, I just grabbed it, um, is this little thing. And this is my hostess coaching, and I will put it in the comments down below. But, um, like I said, this is the only thing I give my hostesses, and I put the postcards invitations like right in here. So everything's really simple. They don't have a huge binder to read it or anything like that. But this is the secret to my success, I think. So um, I'm going to tell you what it says. And I don't want to just hand this to them. I want to talk to them about this, okay? So um, when I meet with them and give them this stuff, I say... Sensi's going to give you free product and half price items based on your sales at night. And then I like to spoil my hostesses and I give you an opportunity, opportunity, opportunity to earn some extra free stuff. And this is how they can do it. I'd let them know if they have $100 in online orders or outside orders before their party starts that they're going to get a free three pack of bars from me. 
Okay, so that gets them promoting the online sales on their Facebook page, and it gets them taking this little thing to work with the order forms, trying to get $100 in orders. I'll tell you this works. And you know what? The reason I started doing this is because I had a party for somebody, and they did that to me. And I didn't even want the thing they were giving away, but I, I don't know, that little competitive thing in me. It's just like, oh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> so I'm like, if that made me want to do it, I'm just going to totally make somebody else want to do it. So that's why I added that on there. It always works. Um, hey, Daniela. Is it Daniela? How do you say it? Yeah. Yes, Daniela. Nice. I'm glad you're joining us. Hey, Christy. Um, I'm just going over my extra free stuff that I give to my hostesses if they do certain things. So the first one, $100 in online orders or outside orders before their party. The second one is if we get three parties booked at their party, they get a free mini warmer. So that helps them start talking to their friends about booking a party too. So it's not all up to me. Um, and that um, seems to, to help a lot. And then the last one, which helps a real lot, which everybody always wants to do, is I let them know if they have 10 adult guests in attendance at their party, that they're going to get a free warmer from me, a free warmer of their choice. Okay. So I will tell you that that might sound like you're giving away a lot of stuff, but they usually don't do all of this stuff. Um, they usually do one or two, and then you can add it like in a Scentsy system. This would be, if they did the three parties booked in the three bars, that would be a $20 Scentsy system that you can get for half price using your perpetual party reward. So um, don't think of it as spending money or a lot of money. Thinking it, Think of it as investing in a successful party. Because guess what? If they do all these things before the party, they're not going to cancel your party. Um, oftentimes, you'll find if you don't do something like this, and if they're just sending out a Facebook event, what's going to happen a couple days before when you call them just to confirm who's all coming and um, so looking forward to fighting? They're like, oh, nobody RSVP. I don't want to cancel my party. And then you have this party that you, you know, you set that time aside for that person and all of a sudden the party's not going to happen. So this is going to be your little guarantee. It's going to be you investing in a successful party. So I found it works really, really well. Okay. Any questions on this? I'll put it down in the comments below too. Um, actually, it's in the files section of um, Bless Beyond Belief. And I have one that says earn extra free stuff. I, mean, I think it says home party. And then there's another one that says earn extra free stuff catalog party. You can use the same kind of thing for a catalog party, but that just um, takes away the, what does it take away? The outside orders, because everything's an outside order. So it just says online orders. And instead of saying, um, 10 guests in attendance, it's if they collect 10 orders and they get everybody's email address. That's the little kicker. They have to get everybody's email address too. So there's two different versions um, in the file section, but I love this little document. So, all right, I'm going to show you what I used to pass out at the party. I did a little video on it the other day. I don't know if you saw it, but I just called it a party packet. Um, and so this, I prepackage these at home. And then when I get to the party, I just lay them on the couches or the chairs or whatever, all around wherever somebody's going to sit. And then I have some extra ones just in the back, just in case. So this is a cute little folder that you can get at the Scentsy Family Store, but you can use anything you want. Some people use clipboards. I've done that in the past. I just... I like this. I found that this is um, working really well for me. And it's cute, and it talks about the business opportunity here. So um, kind of killing two birds with one stone. So on the inside, I have a catalog in the back. I have the order form that's highlighted with all the information that I want. I have this little wish list. This is from Simply Family Store, too. You can use whatever you want. You could just put a little piece of notebook paper in there. Um, but this is for when they're smelling. At the end, when they're smelling, they can write down the scents that they like so that they remember what they want to order. And we have the little drawing form. Um, sometimes I, what I found is people don't always fill the order form out, all of it. But if you tell them there's a drawing, they fill this thing out completely. Even the date and the hostess in there, they, they fill it out really well. So I like this. And I like it that it asks um, if you want to earn free product by doing a basket party or a home party or if you're interested in the business opportunity. Just another little thing that they could mark and then you could follow up with them later if you wanted to. So that's in that side. In this side, I just have our extra things. So our harvest brochure our holiday brochure, and then the monthly warmer of the month flyer. So um, if you're new, this is really important to have because these are the warmers that come out every month and the scents that come out every month, but they're not in the catalog, right? Because the catalog was printed 
back in September. So October, November, December, all of those new warmers are on the back here and all of the new scents are on the back. So if you don't get this, they don't know that those are available and there might be something real cute in there that they want. So that's the warmer of the month flyer. And then this is the join and host brochure from Scentsy, the Scentsy Family Store. I like to get every, a lot of things at the Scentsy Family Store because they're already done for you, you know, right? They're already done, they look professional, they're nice. So this is the join brochure. So that's the little packet that I hand out to everybody. All right, you guys ready to party? Okay, any questions? No. Okay, um, I have this little, this is my little outline and I just made it up on my computer and I just print this out and I have it kind of by me while I'm doing my party so that if I get lost in the middle, I can just look down and be like, hey, what am I supposed to be doing next? <laughs> so it's okay to cheat. And you know what's fun? I went to a party once, um, it was a long time ago at the very beginning, and I had some note cards that I was reading off of. Um, and one of my friends was at that party and she's just all another direct sales company. And she told me afterwards, she said, you know, Yvonne's been doing this a while, and I was kind of surprised she was, like, reading from these little cards, you know? Like, I thought she'd kind of have it together and have everything memorized or whatever. And her upline, who she said that to, she goes, that's so smart. She goes, because then it makes it look like it's um, doable, that you could do it, too. Like, if I wanted to do that, I don't have to get up there and memorize everything and be perfect speech giver or whatever. You can have some, she could give you some little cards, and you could just read from them, and you'd be fine. So don't ever feel bad about referring to a little outline or something. This is just your little, your little tip thing, okay? All right, so... We're going to pretend like we're at a party now, right? Um, everybody's kind of sitting down finally. They all have their little um, party packet in their lap. Or, and I don't mind them looking through this while they're talking to me because that means they're looking at the catalog and uh, maybe ask, getting some questions answered and stuff. So, hey, Gail. All right, so we're just starting our party, Gail. You just got here just in the nick of time. So usually what I do is um, I just say, hey, we're going to start off with some goodies. Who wants, who likes free prizes? And everybody's like, yeah. So um, I'll say, so our Facebook event, not our Facebook event, the postcard. And um, I think when we reply back to the people said, if you bring a friend, you'd get a prize. So who brought a friend tonight? And usually a couple people do bring a friend. Um, so I pass that. So I have little, um, hold on. I can get a little rip in my thing, but I just take these little bags um, and I have them filled with my prizes. So, um, my prize to bring in a friend is. Where's my prize? Oh, the, the, my prize for bringing a friend was um, just a scent sample of the scent of the month. So, pass that around to those people and say, that's our scent of the month. It just came out. You're the first one to smell it. You can't even buy it yet, but I wanted you to have it. So pass that around. And then the next thing I do is say, and I like to thank my, um, thank Vicki for having everybody here tonight. Um, by um, hosting a party, she's going to earn free and half price items from Scentsy. But I really like to spoil my hostesses. So here's a little gift for, for Vicki, and I'll hand her a little bag like this. Hand it to her. It has a little thank you on the outside. Um, and I just put things in there, maybe like my scent of the month room spray that I get, or... Um, I don't know, whatever you whatever you have, the scent of the month bar, it doesn't have to be something, doesn't have to be something big. Um, I was, I should have told you guys this at the beginning, some people are doing it, but if it's noisy at your house and down in the left-hand corner there's a little mute thing, um, if you want to talk, you can unmute yourself, but if you find some noise in the background, just mute yourself. Um, so where was I? So I hand that to Vicki. So Vicki gets that and she's kind of all excited. And, um, and then I say, and in addition to that, I do love to spoil my hostesses. And in addition to what Cincy's going to give her, I told her she did some things for this party that she could earn some extra free stuff. So I'll say if she, and then I go over the, the things that I told you at the beginning. So I said, if she got $100 in orders before the party, she's going to get a free three pack of bars. And she did that. She actually got $200 in orders. So she's going to get to choose a free three pack of bars. And then I say, um, and I told her if she had 10 guests in attendance tonight, that she would earn a free warmer. And right then, everybody starts counting. <laughs> They're like, Ch -ch 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 -ch, counting to see if she won. So um, hopefully she did. If she didn't, that's okay, too. It's setting them up to maybe want to host a party and earn some free stuff, too. Okay. 
Um, and then the other thing is, yeah, I told her if she booked three parties from this party, um, that she's going to get a free mini warmer. And then what I do at the beginning of the party is I put three of these necklaces on Vicky. Okay, so Vicky has three necklaces. So I tell everybody, if you want to book a party, you can go take one of those necklaces off Vicky's neck. And um, that will mean that you want to book a party and then she only has three to give away. And I'll say, if she runs out of necklaces, I have more. But, um, and at my last party, two people ran over to her right then and grabbed her necklaces. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. And if you want to make it more fun than just this little necklace from Dollar Tree, you can put a car bar around her neck, right? Put three car bars around her neck. And then those people are going to get to keep a car bar, which is pretty fun. Um, gives them a little more. Nancy is like laying down on her side. <laughs> yeah. I that's so cute. Yes, I know. Get up. I've you, fallen and I can't get up. You don't even want to look at my camera stuff right now. It's all good. Um, so that is the way I try to get some parties booked at the parties through saying that. And then I'll tell them at that point too, I said, you don't have to have a party like Vicki. You don't have to make snacks like she did or clean her house. There's other ways we can do parties. And then I'll show them one of my little scent sample bags and say, you can take this home with you. Um, or take it to work with you and just have a catalog party. You could do like a coffee and candles in the morning. You could do an office party at your work in the afternoon or at lunchtime, maybe during happy hour. Or you could even do an online Facebook party. So if any of those are of interest to you, go grab a necklace from Vicky's neck. Okay, so that's kind of how that part goes. And then I go into, um, you guys want some more free prizes? And they're like, yeah. Oh, no, that's not what I do. Oh. So then I just introduce myself and tell a little bit about my Scentsy story. Okay, why I started, why I love Scentsy, that I get to go on free trips. Um, I've got to pay for my daughter's piano lessons and my son's braces and my car and that kind of thing, just to kind of get them like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, she can be like, and, it, and if you don't have those um, testimonies yet, it can just be, why did you join Scentsy? Why do you love Scentsy? Do you love the product? Great. You wanted to make a little bit of extra money to pay for Christmas? Great. That's all, that's all you need to say, that you wanted to stay home and be able to um, have a job and set your own schedule and be your own boss and determine your own paycheck. Those are perfect things to say. So just figure out what you're going to say for your little introduction there. Um, and again, don't make it scripted, just flow with it, you know, make it natural and people will, will like that. Hey, Cheyenne, she's over there in Hawaii cutting up a pineapple or something, probably. Oh, cutting up some chicken. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> okay, so after I give my introduction, I try to keep it short and sweet. Um, then I say, who else, who wants to earn some more prices? And they're all like, ah. So I say, get out your phone, okay? So get out your cell phone if you brought it. And then I tell them, I say, you know what? Everybody thinks they have to go to a Scentsy party in order Scentsy, but I want you guys to remember that after we leave this tonight, that you don't have to go to a Scentsy party in order Scentsy. You can call me anytime. You can call me when you need a birthday present. You can call me when your light bulb goes out. You can call me when you need more bars, and I will deliver it right to your porch. And if there's people there, um, they all say, right, Terry? They're like, yep, Terry, I deliver to her porch all the time, or Vicki, the hostess. Yep, she's great. She brings it to me all the time. So, um, and then what I did this time is I just wrote it up and I said, get out your phone. And I said, I want you to put my contact in your phone. And I say, for everybody who does this, you're going to get a prize. Um, and then I had this little thing laminated just to make it easy so they didn't have to listen to me spell out my name. Now, if your name's Lori or Jan or something like that, you don't need this. But <laughs> so I just pulled this up and I say, for my first name, put your phone. And I kind of just give them a little time. And then my second name, I said, you're not going to remember my second name, and you don't need to. I said, but it's Gritton. Um, but for the sake of this game, I want you to put my last name in your phone as Sensi Lady. I say, hopefully you'll either remember my first name or you'll remember Sensi. So put that in there. And then I just put my phone number on the back. So I just flip it around. And I got this laminated, so it's really heavy duty, and I can just use it all the time. Um, give them my phone number, okay? And so, so I want you to put, once you guys hit save, I'm gonna pass around this little bag, pass around the bag, um, and take one out. And what I put in there is just a little washer with sample. And I'll tell you when this bag is going around, it smells good. Like you can really smell these things through this, like woo. Um, so everybody loves that. And while it's going around, tell them a little bit about the washer whiffs. Like you're gonna use this, put that whole thing in your washing machine with your laundry liquid. And um, it's going to make your, make your um, 
sheets, towels, clothes smell great. And we also have laundry liquid, dryer sheets, and um, clothing conditioner or Scentsy Soft. So that's just a way to just kind of talk while that's being passed around. And then I say, while you have your phones out, I want you to do one more thing. Again, you'll get a price for doing this. And I say, I'd love to stay in contact with my customers. And um, if you go, if you're a Facebook user, and you go to Facebook right now and find me and send me a friend request, you can have one of these gifts. And then I pass it around. And that one, what it is, are just this little organza bag with the scent sample, the old basket testers. These are all discontinued, so pass, pass them that around. But while they're passing them around, I'm kind of telling them how to use it. I tell them they're discontinued, you can't buy them anymore, so don't call and ask me, but um, just take the lid off, put it upside down in one of your warmers. Once the wax melts, really um, remove the container, and you have a little scent sample there. So they're liking that. And then um, while they're doing that, I'll say, you probably noticed... Um, when you're at Facebook, you saw my personal page, Yvonne Gritton, um, but you might have seen Yvonne Gritton, Independent Sensi Consultant. And if you go there and you hit like and follow, you can have one of these gifts too and pass that around. Okay? So they're getting lots of gifts. They think this is fun. Women like free things. And in there, I just have the little um, lotion samples from the Sensi Family Store. Okay? So I've give them lots of information, give them ways to get back in contact with me, told them a little bit about me, and given them lots of prizes. So now I say, now we're going to talk about the product, and I say we're going to talk real fast because I know you came tonight to sip and sniff, but I just wanted to give you a few little tips. Um, at that point, you can, um, what am I trying to say, direct them to their catalog if you want and just say um we basically have three main ways to make your house smell good and if you look on page eight it will tell you about those it's a wax and warmers essential oil diffusers and oils and the scentsy go and the pods and what i do is i have a little setup there um, and I go to the wax and warmers and i tell them all about it i tell them how it works i say this is a bar ah, this is a bar this is a bar. <laughs> um, this is the way our wax comes. We have 90 different scents. This bar lasts 80 hours. There's eight squares in each um, bar. So that's about 10 hours per square. And you just open it up and you pop it out and you put them in the top of the warmer, turn the light bulb on, and when it melts, it releases the fragrance. And I say that this is, um, this company was um, founded by two moms who wanted a safe alternative to candles for their kids. So there's no flame sort of smoke. If you should put your finger in there, it'd be like a paraffin dip. Um, and then at that point, I show them an element warmer, how it doesn't have the light bulb, but it has the heating, the heating um, plate. <laughs> and then also show them the nightlight warmer. So have all three of those. And I try to have like the lampshade warmer, which is beautiful a little element warmer, which is smaller, and then the mini warmer. And then when you have the mini warmer, show them how to do, do you guys know how to do the little cute um, cotton ball thing? Let them know that the wax is never going to go away. It's just going to eventually lose its scent. So when you don't smell it anymore, that's when you change it. The easiest way to change it is with a cotton ball. So um, got a cotton ball. So you have two cubes in there, you put three cotton balls. If you have four cubes in there, you put five cotton balls. So put one extra cotton ball in there. Put them in there, sog it up, wipe it out, and um, put new wax in. And then I also tell them don't put old wax with your new wax um, because that just dilutes it out. So give them some tips, especially for people who have been there before. Usually at the very beginning too, I ask who's been to a sense, who has Sensi in their home? Um, because that helps me figure out how, um, how much detail I need to go in, right? Okay, so show them the warmers. Oh, and the other thing about the mini warmer, have the mini warmer out like a nightlight, but then also have it lit up like the tabletop base, because that tabletop base is amazing. And guess what? The mini light is 20, but if you can upgrade that every time, do you guys want a $15 tabletop base? You're upping your PRV. Just it's a little upsell, but it's also helping them because they may not have a place to plug it in. Okay, and then I move on to my essential oil diffuser. And if you guys don't have an essential oil diffuser yet, I would highly, highly, highly recommend to buy one. Um, you got to use it to be able to tell people how to use it, right? Um, yeah, if you don't know what those buttons do, what's, what's going to happen when they call you? Oh, I don't know. 
then you're going to ask me. <laughs> um, but get it. It's a oil diffuser. They're beautiful and they're fun. And um, it's a really, and gosh, girls, they're $130. So would you rather, you know, get $130 orders than $20 orders? Yes. <laughs> Um, so I have my essential oil diffuser there. I have a video um, on the Blessed Beyond Belief page. I think it probably if you looked under videos, you could find it. It's the chant video. Um, or if you hit or if you typed in diffuser, you could find it. But it really shows you how to use how to use the diffuser. And I don't say my name on there. I don't refer to um, placing an order on my website or anything like that. So it's something that you guys could could use. But definitely try to make your own if you can. But basically the diffuser, um, let them know that they can use any brand oils in our diffuser and the warranty will remain in effect. They don't have to use just our brand. They can use um, tap water in our diffuser. They don't have to use distilled water. A lot of brands you have to use distilled water in them. There's 16 different lighting effects and you need to show them how that works. Um, three different misting options, and the most important thing is the lifetime warranty. A lot of times I like to take the lid off and say, this is the way most diffusers look. It, that's the way most diffusers look. They look like our plastic base. Um, but we, let, we make ours beautiful, and I put the lid back on, and we gave ours the lifetime warranty. And um, I do just like to mention most, war most diffusers have a six-month or one-year warranty. So once they break, then you're kind of out that money. So um, ours has the lifetime warranty, just like all of our other sense of products do. Um, so I think that makes them feel a little better about spending that much money on something. And you know what? If anybody has had a diffuser before, they know exactly what you're talking about, and they're happy to pay more because they've gone through diffusers and they break. Um, and then, what do I move on to? The Sensi Go. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Um, and if, again, if you don't have a Sensi Go, you need to have one. You need to have one so that you can show people how they work. And I think once you have one and you've like taken it around with you and put it in your car and on your desk, and you're going to love it. And you're going to love it so much that it's going to help you sell it to other people. So just let them know that the Sensi Go um, has a rechargeable battery, and the battery lasts 40 hours. I should have had one here. I didn't think about that, but um, I'll just pretend. <laughs> um, the battery lasts 40 hours. Um, the top button, when you push it once, the little light turns white, and that turns the fan on. Um, if you push it twice, the little light turns green. That puts it in echo mode, and then it'll be on 30 seconds, off 20 seconds. Um, and that just helps save the battery a little bit. And the most important thing is, if you don't have it plugged into the USB, into your phone or your car or your computer, after three hours, it's going to turn itself off because it wants to save the battery for you. So don't think that it's broken. If it's turned itself off, it, that's what it's supposed to do. You just turn it back on, okay? Um, and then show them the pods. Show them that you can put one or two, depending on how much strength you want, that each pod lasts 120 hours. So that one little pod pack, that costs ten dollars plus 240 hours that's a lot of scent time um do, 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 what else about the scent to go so that's kind of all i tell them about that and then i say that's kind of all about our oh, that's kind of all about our products we're going to play one more game and then i'm going to let you guys sit and so that kind of keeps the momentum going so my next game is a game all about um the the business opportunity and sometimes when you're up in front of a bunch of people you don't really know one you don't really know what to say about joining and you don't want to be pushy right so this is like I think the perfect way to to do the join opportunity so I have this little fake hundred dollar bill and I just hand that to somebody I usually hand it to um, the hostess and let her start and I say I'm gonna read this um, little story and anytime I say right you pass the hundred dollar bill to the right. Anytime I say left, you pass it to the left. Okay. I said, but you got to pay attention because I'm going to go fast. Okay. All right. So I'm going to read this to you guys just so you can hear what it says. I will tell you that they do pay attention to it because they want to get the left and the right thing going. So this is like the perfect um, left right game. There's other left right games, but choose the one with the business opportunity and it's the one that's in our Blessed Beyond Belief bio section. Okay, so give them a hundred dollar bill and now I'm going to read this and it gets really fun. I mean every time I've done this it's been fun. People get kind of like oh, and they're all going back and forth and it's fun. So this is how it goes. 
It says, the Wright family had just finished dinner. I'm going to look for a job, said Mother Wright. And I kind of try to stop like every time I say left or right, just to, so they get a pin on it, right? And then I say, there's no money left in the savings account. And with school clothes and Christmas right around the corner, I don't know how we'll manage. A job, asked Sue Wright, but who will pick me up after school and drive me to soccer and Boy Scouts? Billy Wright, asked Mother Wright as he left the kitchen. And they're all kind of going, ah. So, and then it says, Mother Wright said to Father Wright, I'll find something part-time that I can work right around the kids' busy schedules. The telephone rang and Father Wright left to answer it. He rushed back in the kitchen and told Mother Wright that it was Aunt Mary Wright on the phone wanting to let her know that she just left an interview and was coming right over to tell her all about it. So while you're doing this, they're all like scattered and doing this little fun thing. And then it says Aunt Mary Wright arrived and Mother Wright left the dishes in the sink to join her family in the living room. I've just joined Sensi, said Aunt Mary Wright, as she handed Mother Wright the Sensi catalog. As a Sensi consultant, I not only book and present at parties, but I also sponsor other consultants and sell our merchandise. You could earn free merchandise if you host your party, or if you host a party, Aunt Mary Wright said. I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know of anyone who might like to earn some extra money, too. It's a fun, flexible job that can be worked right around the busiest schedules, said Aunt Mary Wright, as she left to rush home to call a few friends about the opportunities she had to offer. Sue Wright, Billy Wright, and Father Wright were looking at the catalogs left by Aunt Mary Wright. And Mother Wright was reading about becoming a consultant. The Wright family was very impressed and interested what? in the sense of opportunity. The sure. entire Wright family went to bed that night talking about their favorite scents and Aunt Mary Wright. I got it. Sue Wright thought about the great host reward she could earn. Father Wright thought about the vacations they could afford. And Mother Wright thought about the extra money she could earn as a consultant. She had left the catalogs on the table near their phone so she could call Aunt Mary Wright in the morning with some questions. This is all that's left of our story, except we hope that you do the right thing and book a party or become a consultant. Isn't that right? And then it ends. Okay, so then somebody has the thing and they're kind of excited and you go over and you say, now you won the $100 bill, but um, you can't do much with that. So I swap it for a bar or whatever prize you want. But say, but it does just cost $100 to join Sensi. So if you, any of you are interested in joining Sensi, I would love to take you to coffee and see if it's a good fit for your family. We can schedule that anytime. And at my last party, I had two people raise their hands right then. Like, oh, I want to. I'm like, really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> cool. And I said, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. But for the, the rest of you, um, even if it's not something that you're interested in, you might know somebody who would be blessed by the Sensi business opportunity. Maybe it's your niece, maybe it's a neighbor, maybe it's a friend who just needs to make some extra money, or maybe you know somebody who just loves candles and you think this would be great for them. So right inside your party packet, this join brochure right here, would you pass that along to them? Um, just refer them to me. I love referrals. If you refer somebody to me who joins my team, I'll give you a free warmer of your choice. So if you're thinking about somebody that you want to give that um, brochure to, if it's not you that's interested. Okay, isn't that an easy way to kind of present the business opportunity? What do you guys think? Works. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Yes. And I had um, two people that I think are going to join from that party. Just, I don't know if it's from doing that, but I, whatever, it works. <laughs> so, yay! Um, and then um, I do one last game, and then we, um, and then we break for smelling. And this one is kind of fun. It's called the dice game. And I say, I'm going to hand around some dice. And I have these big battle of dice, two of them. Um, and I say, roll the dice. And at the bottom of your order form, write the number that you rolled and circle it. And I'll tell you what that's all about later. And then I said, while the dice are going around, um, fill out the, the entry form so we can get you all in the entry. And then after that, we're going to smell. So they're all doing that. And then I walk around with just, I just take another little bag, collect all their little entry forms. And then I let them know, you know, you guys go ahead and smell. 
And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to fill out your order forms for you. Um, please check out page 70 of the uh, catalog. And that's our bundle and save page. So if you, like, if you buy five bars, you get one free. Or if you buy two plugins and six bars, you save um, $10. So that's a great place to look once you're ready to place your order. But I'm happy to um, help you write out your order forms if you want. And then I just let them smell. And I get them started. Um, one thing, you could, have you guys seen my little party plates that I use that I have my scents on? Did you see those? I'm going to grab one real quick. Hold on. Whatever you do when you do a party, have some way to um, be able to put the scents on their lap, whether that be little baskets. Um, I don't know which, what you want these little baskets. I used to use these scrap book drawers that pulled out and I could just pull them out and put them on their laps. So like this is holiday and I just figured this out. This is a little pizza pan. Um, this says holiday, so you know what category it is. I put a 12 by 12 um, scrapbook paper underneath it and just some glue stick the back down. And then all of these have little magnets that I just hot glued gunned to the back. Um, so they can, I could just pass it around. So when they are sitting there starting to look through their catalogs or whatever, I'm handing them these and I'm putting them on their laps. And while they're sniffing, I'm walking around to see if anybody needs a different one or if they've smelled all the categories, that kind of thing. So this works out really well. And when they're all stacked together, they're only like about that high. So it doesn't take up very much room to, to take this somewhere. So that's working out really well. Um, but anyways, have some way to don't put them all like on a table like all your testers up on the table, because then they're all going to have to stand by the table and be smelling, and that's not comfortable. Oh, or a cake carrier. <laughs> Say it again. If you have, yeah, if you had like a cake, like a cake carrier, you could stack the pie pans inside of a cake. Carrier. Oh yeah, that would be. Per oh, I wonder if that would fit. That'd be great. It maybe fits a small, in a little, maybe a little, little smaller of a pan, maybe, but you could stack them. In yeah, a I'm gonna have to check that out. I have that new little roller bag from Sensi that looks like a suitcase, a duffel bag, and it fits in the bottom of that just perfectly. So. Um, works out good. But figure out something for that. Um, and then this is what I do when they come up and fill out their little order form. So we played the booking game earlier, right? With the deck, with the necklaces and all of that. I asked them if they wanted to book a party. But when they come up to me and I see their order form, remember they they rolled the dice and they have a number written on their order form. So to me, that's my little trigger in my head to ask them again if they want to book a party. You need to ask every single person there. Um, and I have this and I'll put this on the, the two down below or uh, I think I'll put it in the file section under dice game. But it basically says you rolled the dice and the odds are in your favor, book a party and the prize is yours. So it has every combination of what they could have rolled. So like if they roll a three, they get a $40 warmer. If they roll a four, they get a laundry love bundle. So this is just another way to see if they want to book a party. So, you know, you rolled a three. If you book a party with me, either catalog party, home party, Facebook party, once that party closes um, and you have at least $200 in sales, then you could get a free $40 warmer of your choice. And I, I love to add your choice on there because you don't want to, you don't want them to think they're going to get your old ugly warmers that are on your <laughs> shelf that you haven't sold in a year. Um, but make it of their choice. And then what you're going to do is use your perpetual party rewards or anything like that to help pay for that. Again, you're investing in a successful party. Um, if you have to shell out a little bit of money, that's okay because that's part of owning a business. Um, it's kind of like advertising money, basically. So that's how I end with that. So that's kind of it. I mean, once they all, um, once a couple people look like they're getting started, ready to leave, then I'll grab my little thing and I'll do my little door prize um, form. Um, the reason I do that, I know I gave away a lot of stuff, but like I said, if they don't fill out everything on their order form, they usually always fill out everything on that door prize form so I have all their information. So again, it doesn't have to be anything big. It can be a sample of something or it can be a car bar or whatever. They don't care really what it is. They just are excited because they want so what do you guys think? Does that all sound doable? Does it sound scary? What do you, you have questions? 
I just need to get into my new house so I can do this stuff. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Anybody? Yes, Nicole. She raises do you her hand. Have, um, well, I sound like when everybody talks at once. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you have an outline for all of the different things that you do for with, for what you do to give them prizes throughout the, the party? Is that somewhere in the group? It's going to be right down below this recording. So we, okay, cool. It, and it's just, it's not super detailed. It says like, um, intro sign, phone contact, washer whiffs. So I know... I'm going to show them that intro sign to get the phone contact, and I'm going to pass around the washer with bag. That's really how simple it is, because because if you don't notice, I have to put my glasses on to read, and I don't want to have to. <laughs> I don't read, so I just wanted to be the littlest, uh, littlest information I need to um, to figure out what I need to do next. So yeah, this is my little outline that kind of basically steers me in the right direction. But another thing to think about at your parties, there's no right or wrong way to do a party. There's no script. There's no whatever. So when you're there and you're talking, if you forget something on here, nobody's going to know, right? <laughs> whatever. Just wing it and keep on going. Um, there's, no, there's no right or wrong. And then when you're telling them about the warmers and the diffusers and all of that, if you forget to tell them something, that's okay. Because guess what? When they're sitting there and they're talking and they're sniffing and stuff, that's a great time to walk around and just throw out some information, let them know how you like the counter clean for your stainless steel and um, let them know how, oh, the Scentsy Buddies, that's another thing, but the Scentsy Buddies are limited edition. Once they come out and they sell out, they introduce another one, kind of like Beanie Babies. One thing that I do do is I bring this with me um, because if somebody says which Scentsy Buddies are available, I don't want to have to go get on my phone or get and open my iPad or whatever. Um, I like to just have this little sheet of paper and I can show them. And so right before a party, I can go to my website and look and see which Scentsy Buddies are available and print this out real fast. So um, that's a good thing to have there too. Um, any other questions? Are you guys excited about going to do a party? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good. Okay. Um, and I'll tell you, this works. I did it Thursday night, and I had three parties booked from that party, two recruits, one's joining this week, one probably in January, um, over $800 in PRV. Um, she had nine people at her party instead of 10, but gosh, that was really good. And she had so many, um, over $200 in online orders before the party and lots of orders after the party. So I think if you get that, that hostess excited. Um, amazing things can happen. Oh, one little other thing. The one thing that you want to do right before your party and then at the end of your party is let your hostess know that they can have that party. It's called hostess flipping. Um, so my hostess has, this particular lady has asked me before about the Sensi Business Opportunity, was ready to join at one time. Um, I forget what, some special or something. And when I contacted her saying, are you ready? She's like, I don't have the money right now. And I was like, ah, okay. Well, so I put her on my little list. And so she's been on my list to contact once in a while. So I mentioned to her before the party, you know, if you still want to sell Sensi, I will gift you the orders from this party. You can join. They can be your orders. The bookings from this party can be your bookings. And so she's like, mm -hmm. well, she's like, I don't know. Um, so I didn't bring it up again until the very end. And at the very end, when she had, you know, over, she had $125 in free product credit, three half price items. I said, you're still going to, you'll still get all of this. I said, but in addition to that, you could make $160 in commission off of this. So if you joined now for $99, you would still get all of your everything for $77. And on November 10th, you're going to get $160 in commission, which covers that, right? And I said, and if you, and if you join in October um, and sell $500 in your first 30 days, which you've already done, you're going to get a free Sensi Go and a pod. So she was thinking about it. I, this was all messaged to her and stuff. Yeah, Nicole? Are you there? Sorry, I hit the wrong That's button. Okay. I was saying, mic drop. 
I know. And you know what? She didn't do it. I was like, Ugh. but I think one of the reasons I think she didn't do it is when I contact, when we were closing her party on Monday, she's like, I'm in the ER. I don't know what's wrong with my ear. And I'm just, you know, she's like, we just, just close the party. She goes, I'm not ready right now. So anyways, she'll want, this will be one I work on later. And I got the $800 in PRV. So all is well in the world. <laughs> and I've got a recruit off of her party. So, so it's okay. Um, but always, always, always do that to your customers. It's so much better to have a new recruit than it is to have the PRV from that party, even though I know you want that. And that's awesome. It's just the way you're going to build your team better. And you're already setting them up for success because you've already kind of trained them. They've seen how the party goes. You have maybe some bookings for them and you have a little customer base for them already because their friends and family have been introduced to it. So, and she knows way more people than you do. So um, if you just get the peer review from that party, you, you met those 10 new people, right? That she knew. But if she becomes a consultant, there's that 200, 500, whatever people she knows that could eventually help your team grow. So any questions about flipping? Nope. All right. Well, that's kind of it in a nutshell. If you guys have, then like I said, you know, play with it. Do what works for you. If one of those games isn't fun to you or you don't want to do or didn't work out for you one time, then you just tweak it the next time. It's all up to you and, and what you feel comfortable with. But I will tell you, once you do one party, you're going to want to do another one. For real. I had so much fun the other night. I was gone two hours from my house. I got over $800 in PRV and a new recruit and three parties booked. Like, hello. That's when the little snowball effect happens. Um, so don't be afraid of home parties. Please, please, please don't be afraid. Try one. And try it on like your best friend or your sister or something fun like that, you know? Somebody that you just know and it's like no big deal. So. All right, last chance for questions. I'm gonna hit the button. All right, thanks for joining me, you guys. And um, go ahead and get those parties booked. See you later. Bye. Bye.